Good evening, RMPs. Today I am going to show you how to log in to ETT using your token. And then we're also going to look at the quick reference guide and how we find the waste disposal flow chart. So this is going to take care of three questions on your hypothetical. Um, one, can you find the operator's quick reference guide? Two, can you sign in with your token? And three, can you find the most current waste disposal flow chart? So we're gonna start by clicking on our secure ID MFA login up here in the right hand corner. This is going to be your rack FID. So mine is NRP1 AGU. And then this is going to be the eight digit pin code that you picked, whatever it was. And then the six numbers that are displaying on the front of your token. So this is going to be a 14 digit number. For me, because I have a soft token, it's just an eight digit number. So you're gonna type in your token number. You're gonna type in your pin number plus your token number, click submit, and then it's gonna tell you authentication complete. That means that you have passed the MFA login portion. So now we need to copy this password to our clipboard. We're gonna go back to our main ETT page, click on our hazmat input tab. We wanna click on data entry US. And then this little screen is gonna pop down. Now in this screen, we are putting our rack FID again. And then you want to right click paste that password that you created back here is gonna go right here as your username password. So we're gonna click sign in. And yay, here we are. So this is how it should open up. It should have your name up here as the user. Now to get to the operator's quick reference guide, we can find it uh, over here in the right hand corner, operator's quick reference guide. We just click on that hyperlink and it's gonna open to the last page that you were using the last time you opened it, or if you haven't opened it for a while, it's gonna open you up to the main page. It is a very large document, 96 pages or so, I believe. Yep, still 96 pages. I was working a cylinder form with one of my responders. So normally it should open up here to our front page. We're gonna scroll down and all of these are hyperlinked. So these are all, this is basically everything that your health and safety supervisor taught you in DMP class. You can go back and say, hey, I remember Chrissy was talking about when I am doing um, something for when I'm setting up my DMP file cabinet. How do I do that again? You can click right here on Appendix J. It's going to tell you exactly what you need to do. What we were coming here for, though, is our waste disposal flowchart. So we're going to look in our table of contents, and here it is. Now, it is highlighted in yellow. Anything that's highlighted in yellow means that it had an update in October. So anything that's highlighted, that means something here changed, something here changed, these two changed, something with regulated medical waste changed. Um, that's new. I'm curious. Going to definitely take a look at that. And then something in the DMP disposal of damages packages as liquids changed. I would definitely encourage you to go in here at least monthly and check those yellow out. So we're going to click on our waste disposal flowchart and here we are. There's our waste disposal flow chart. So now you can answer all three of those questions on the hypo. Can you find the waste disposal flow chart? Can you get to the operator's quick reference guide? And can you sign in to ETT on your own? As always, please reach out if you need anything. I'm happy to help. Have a great rest of your day and happy responding.